Hey beer lovers and Merry f***ing Christmas. Guys, so we're here at Lowlander. It's, where, where's it Johnny? It's a place to come for Belgian it's beer, It's a place right? to come for Belgian beer and the Belgians love Christmas more than anyone I know. Or love getting drunk at Christmas. And possibly the Scandos as well. They're, yeah. they're up there. Yeah, so it's our annual Christmas video. We've oh. got four delicious Christmas beers. Yes. And without me really meaning to, we've picked three Scandi and one Belgian. Um, which it's, I just, I think they just get more into the spirit of it, quite they literally. Do. They do. Exactly. More into the ethanol of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So what have you got? I mean, are they are they all traditional Christmas beers? No. No. <laughs> no. That's a definite no. In fact, none of them are really. So no. last year we had, we had the the truly rancid Gouden Carolus licorice beer, which mm. is very traditional. We had some other spice numbers. This year we've got a Christmas beer that isn't a Christmas beer, a Christmas beer that's literally made of Christmas, a milkshake IPA with mango and passion fruit. And then a Brett IPA with ginger. Hey! So that's probably the closest one. So yeah, it's a thoroughly untraditional Christmas beer video this year, but let's get stuck in. Dude, I'm well excited. What are we starting with? So the first beer we're going to do is the only Belgian beer on the list. Right. It's Pear Noel uh, from Duranka, who of course made Duranka Double X, yeah. which until probably quite recently was the most bitter beer in Belgium. Mm. And it is a proper bitter. Uh, really dry hoppy number mm. um this one uh well no, i won't spoil the surprise for you but yeah. let's just say it's not very christmasy okay. and also it's essentially double x bitter okay but i'm okay with that and i think most people are mm. it smells lovely it smells great it's got that belgian noble hop just a, a, a fruity lemony yeah. candied lemon it's kind quite, of thing quite soft just floating along there yeah isn't it? Uh, like Santa in his sleigh. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, it's darker than Double X, which is one of the differences. I think there's some some caramel or Munich malt or something with a little bit of roasty yeah. caramel to yeah, it. Yeah, it's quite hearty looking, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It's a lot. It's it's not as big as I was thinking it's going to be. No. It's quite. Um, it's a little bit thin. Thin <laughs> for Christmas. A little bit. I mean, I, this is my tip for Christmas dinner. Is it? Because I think it's got the sweetness, the umami kind of thing from mm -hmm. the caramel that will go with the gravy. Yeah. And then it's got it's, it's got a robust bitterness that's going to cut through cut through your dinner. So I think for me, this is what I'll drink with Christmas dinner. Yeah, the bitterness is really yeah. getting me now. Actually. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will build. I mean, it yeah. probably is like 60 IBU. Wow. It's a big old beer from Belgium, mm. and I think that's great that's for beast. food. Yeah. <laughs> Big old beer oh, the beast, from Triple B, the big beer from Belgium. So from one beer that was not Christmassy at all, yes. we're going to a beer that is, if anything, probably too Christmas. The essence of Christmas. The, the essence of Just Christmas. Literally distilled. Well, not distilled, but fermented. Fermented Christmas. Right. Um, so Hit me with the list. What's this, in it? This is Frostbite. I'm trying to find the list, Brad. I'm stalling for in time. English. Here we go. Let Xmas begin. <laughs> That's we quite an authoritative <laughs> thing. Let Xmas begin. Uh, we present a crisp winter pale ale brewed with orange peel and pine needles. Mate, that sounds amazing. For the holidays. So we're expecting really citrusy and then really sappy kind of piney. I guess so. Or it might be quite, ooh, ooh, hello. Might be quite lively. Might be quite aromatic as well with the pine. Mm, and I mean, with the orange peel. No, nothing screams Christmas to me like that smell of a Christmas tree. So the pine is very herbal. It's very, Horrible. it's a little bit Jägermeister. Yeah, it Which, has got a little bit of that going on, I guess. Um, yeah, it, it does. It feels a little bit earthy, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's also sweet, kind of. Um, yeah, there's loads of there's loads of speciality malt in that. That is, I think this is going to be very sweet at the start, mm. and then probably very bitter on the finish. It's very balanced and a tiny bit boring. Yeah, it's it's not a, a big wumper. I was hoping it was going to be <laughs> like a, something that was you know so. The Christmas and like Christmas resonance. Wampa sounds like Christmas something Wampa. from a kid's book. Very Star Wars, Christmas Wampa. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, I mean, it smells like it's going to be big, but it's actually just a bit of a malty. Yeah, a bit disappointing in that. Where's the pine needles at? <sighs> it's like old. all the pine needles have dropped off. Broke my heart, too. Old. With a branchy. Maybe they're all hanging out in the bottom. Yeah? <laughs> Don't pour it out. I can't drink all that. <laughs> nice to say. So Johnny, we're, we're halfway through our festive uh, 
winter walk. Yeah, and we have to the taste any trail. Christmas. And I've not, I've, you've not really, uh, you've not sunk it home oh, Christmas yeah, I've wise. I've done a horrible job. Well, this one's going to disappoint <laughs> you even more because this is anti Christmas. This is anti Christmas. Yeah. Which is, I'm finding quite exciting. I mean, I'm wearing an anti Christmas goth outfit. <laughs> yeah, what, I, what the hell? I'm it's in, two years in a row that I've been the only person that's worn Christmas to the Christmas shoot. Do you know what? Christmas for me is a bit of a funny time of year. But uh, I mean, obviously, Home Alone's great, stuff like that. Die Hard. Awesome. Die Hard, the best Christmas movie ever. Yeah, it is. Uh, probably the best Christmas party ever. I oh, wish, I wish yeah. some of my Christmas party had been taken over by terrorists. In that Nakatomi building. Yeah. Um, right, so this is from Lervig. Last year they made the beer that, inev that inevitably, infamously, yeah. uh, led you down the peat bog mummy thing that uh, we don't that was a good one. try not to talk about anymore. Maybe we should flash back to that. <laughs> Quick edit. <laughs> so yes, Lervig this time have gone from a, a peated uh, a peated stout mm. to a passion fruit and mango milkshake IPA. Oh yeah, that, that's a totally so, logical move. Yeah. So milkshake, when they say milkshake, it means they've added milk, sugar, lactose. Lactose. It can't be right. eaten by yeast, so it's always going to be sweeter and add lots of body. Oh mate, <laughs> baby Jesus on a bicycle. This is uh, that is that's punchy, isn't it? I love the smell of that. It's, it's amazing. It smells like milk bottles, so sweets. Yeah. But also like. Like a, a piece of mango. Like a mango, just like cut open and then just whizzed up with a load of yeah. Yeah, milk bottles. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what that would smell like in my head. No, I'm quite liking the, the, the sort of lactose, creamy, smooth, yeah. luxuriant, kind of soft, flowing over with the mango. It's, it's a quite delicate mango, really. It's sort of... Somehow it feels quite well balanced. It reminds me of yellow jelly babies. Yeah, it's That's quite soft, isn't it? what it tastes like to me. And mm. kind of feels like too. It's like biting oh, into a... Yeah, it's quite luxuriant. Into a yellow jelly belly, jelly baby. I'm not wild about it. I think it might be a, a step too far removed from Christmas and indeed beer. And peat bog mummies. And <laughs> peat bog mummies, yeah. Yeah. So for the final beer, I'm really hoping you this is Christmassy and delicious. Please bring something, you know, something big to the table, Johnny, that's yeah. going to... Just, you know, rock my Christmas. I'd say that McKellar does quite often let people down because he makes the about he makes about 4,000 beers a day. Yeah. All different. So the chances are most of them will be crap. But a gingerbread IPA? Is it, is it a, a play on words? The gingerbread? Gingerbread, yeah, like gingerbread. Like gingerbread. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that is gingery. That is stem gingery. Lively. It reminds me of like an old person's home. Does it? I want some stem ginger. <laughs> Ginger biscuits. And there is some bread there as well, that uh, sherbet-y funk. Yeah, I like that. I think I think you might have pulled it back. I've, uh, I've scored a goal with the last minute. I was looking up, whimsically in the distance, just imagining little gingerbread men running around playing football for some reason. Were you and doing then, that to try and enhance the beer, or was the beer doing that to you? It was doing that to me, and wow. they, were, they were playing football, and then one of them scored a goal, and he put his little gingerbread arms up. And he was like, yeah! Right, so there's a hallucinogen in this beer, uh, uh, which they haven't put on the packaging. Which I'm something. furious about. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's delicious. That's it, really it's nicely balanced. There's a little bit of sweetness well, to it. it. Yeah, it is. Just down the throat, you feel the ginger. Yeah. Um, this is a Christmas beer for me. Man. Yeah, and I think that'd be great with food as well, both savoury and sweet. Yeah. Uh, that with some um, some pork, I think, would be quite nice. And also that with a gingerbread man. Playing football. Could be. Just scored a goal. Not, I don't even, I don't even like football. Slash right? I'm not, not quite sure why I thought football. But. So this has been so one of the most uh, successful <laughs> Christmas videos we've ever done. You've we've pulled off a little Christmas miracle a right little at the Christmas end. Miracle right there. I'm quite Nailed a fan it. of the like really dark, syrupy. Oh, of course. Super like. Whoa. We've done that before. Delirium right? Noel, so great, and St. Bernard's yeah. Christmas. So those are always great tips. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so you can boys. coming up now are all the different videos from last year that we did and the years before that have those kind of beers, those traditional Christmas beers. This year we went a little bit off piste and we regretted it. We went a bit Channel Four, <laughs> didn't we? We're yeah. like the alternate Christmas speech. Yeah, yeah. Let's not do that again. Well, we know for next time, right? We do. We do. <laughs> I don't really know why loud. I got so loud. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we do know for next time. I think the beer's time. kicked in. Uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Uh, I hope Santa gives you what you want. Uh, probably not a 2 old frostbite. Cheers.